Ve'ein mevachin alav, and others do not recite the blessing for him. Ve'ein mezamnim alav, and he cannot be invited to become part of Zimun. Ufatur mikriyat shema umin hatfilah, and he's exempt from reciting shema and from from tefillah, from shema Yisrael. Umin hatfilin, and from doing tefillin. Umikol mitzvot hamurot batura, and from all mitzvot uh, in the in the Torah. Over Shabbat Mesev on Shabbos. Uh, when you can't bury anyway, uh, he may recline. He may eat and drink wine. And recite the blessings before eating. He may do Bekaramazon. He can have others recite the blessings for him. Uh, and he can be invited to be part of a zimun. And he's obligated in all the mitzvahs of the Torah. Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel Omer, Mitoch shenit chayev be'elo nit chayev bechulan. He's obligated in these mitzvahs. Is he obligated in all mitzvahs? Vamar Rabbi Yochanan, May be'nayehu. What's the difference between all of them? Tash Misha Mitaika Beinayehu, the between them is uh, is uh, about an onen who has marital relations. Katane Mihat. In any event, the Bryce had taught Patomikriat Shma Umin Hatvila. He's exempt from reciting Shma and from from Tvila from Dabni. From Shmona Yisrael, Umin Hatfilin, and from Tfilin, Umi Kol Mitzvot Amorot Batorah, from all Mitzvot said in the Torah. Amar of Papa, Targma Amachazir Panav Veochel. You should interpret as referring exactly to where he turns his face and eats uh, before a body. Ravashi Amar, Ravashi said, Kevan Shimutal Alav Lekovro Kemutal Lefanav Dame. So long as he, as he is responsible to bury the body, it is as if it lies before him. Before him. Shnema, Viakam Abraham Me'al Pnemeto. As it says, and Abraham arose from the presence of his dead. Venema, as it says, Ve'ek Bera Meti Milfanai. That I may bury my dead from before me. Calls man shimutal alav likovro kimutal lefanav dame. As long as he is responsible to bury the body, it is as if it lies before him. Meto ein aval meshamrolo. Yes, uh, who's it's for someone's uh, uh, own dead relative. But what about someone who is simply guarding the body? They're not exempt. Vatanya, but it was taught. Nebraisa, Hameshamer et Hamet, one who is guarding a dead body, Afal Pishe no Meto, even if the dead person is not his own relative, Patur Mikriat Shma or Min Hatfila, is exempt from running, from saying Shma and from prayer, from Tfila, Shma Nasre or Min Hatfilin, and from doing Tfilin, Mikol Mitzvot Amor Robert Torah, and from all Mitzvot said in the Torah. Meshamro Afal Pishe no Meto, sorry, we'll just scroll down. So, whose own dead relative, even if, even if he is not actually guarding him. So, we are up to Meto Meshamro Ein. Meto Meshamro Ein. At the top of the screen. Meto Meshamro Ein. Yes, for someone whose own dead relative requires burial and who is guarding a dead body are exempt. Aval mehalech bevet ha kvarot lo, but who is simply walking in a cemetery is not exempt. Ve'atanya, but was taught in a brisa, lo yalech adam bevet ha kvarot. A person may not walk in a cemetery. Or tefillin barasho with tefillin on his head. Ve'sefer Torah 
Bizro'o Bekore, all while reading from a Torah scroll in his arms, Ve'im Oseken Over Mishum. And if he does so, he transgresses Lo'eg Larash Cheref Osehu, one who mocks a pauper, blasphemes his maker. The pauper is seen as the people who are buried. Hatam tocharba amot hu de asur. There it is prohibited um, within four amot of a grave. Chutz la arba amot chayav. Beyond four amot, he's obligated de amar ma. From master said, mate tofes arba amot likriat shma. A dead, the dead seizes four amot insofar as reciting shma. Hacha chutz la arba ma amot nami pator. Whereas here, um, he's exempt even beyond the four amot of the body. Gufa, the, the text says, Hamishomer etamet, one who's guarding a dead body. Afal pisheno meto, even if the dead person is not his own relative, patur mikriat shma umin hatfila is exempt from running, sh- from saying shma and from prayer umin hatfilin and from tfilin umikol mitzvot hamura patura and from all other, all the mitzvahs stated in the Torah. Hayushnaim, if there were two guarding the body, zemeshomer zekore vezekore vezemeshomer vezekore, one watches while the other recites shma and the other watches while he first recites shma. Which we learnt in the last chapter. Ben Azai Omer, Ben Azai said, Hayubaim bisfina, if they were travelling on a boat, Manicho Bazvit Zo, they leave the body in one corner, Umit Palin Shinehem Bezavit Acheret, and go and pray in another corner. My Ben Ayehu, what is the issue between these, uh, between them? Ama Ravina, between them is whether we're concerned about mice uh, who might uh, do something to the body. Mar uh, and the master maintains that we are concerned uh, about mice on the boat, so we have to remain guarding the body. Umar but the other master maintains we are not concerned. Tana Rabbanan, Hamalichat Samot Mimakom Lemakom, one who is transporting bones from place to place, Hareze lo yitnem be disakya vitnem al gabe chamor, he should not place them in a sack and put them on a donkey, Vayir kavalehim and ride on top of them. Since he would be treating them disrespectfully. But if he's afraid of Gentiles or Mipne Listim or of bandits, Mutar, uh, he's permitted to get up and ride on top of them. And so they said with regard to bones. So they said with regard to a Torah scroll as well. Regarding which. Um, so what bracer is it about the equation or the equating of Torah scrolls to human beings? Ilema Aresha, if you'll say it's the first clause, Pshita, it is obvious. Mi gara sefer Torah me'atzmot, is the Torah scroll any worse than human bones? Ela, a sefer, rather it's the latter of the latter part of the Barisa, uh which says that if he's in a presence of danger, he can get on top of them. Amav Rachava Amar Rav Yehuda Kol Haroi Amet Ve'eno Melavehu Anyone who sees a dead body going from place to place and does not escort it Over Mishum Lo'eg Larash Cheref Osehu Transgresses one who mocks a pauper blasphemes his maker. Ve'im hilvahu ma scharo, and if he escorts the body, what is his reward? Amar Ravasi, alav hakatov omer, malve Hashem chonendal. He lends Hashem whoever is gracious to the poor. O me chabdo chonen evyon, and he honors him whoever is gracious to the destitute. We'll scroll down to the bottom. So we are at Rabbi Chia, about uh, halfway through in the middle of the text, of the bottom section, the bottom line section, on the screen we're in the middle. 
Rabbi Chia and Rabbi Yonatan have shakle the azle bevet hakvarot. Rabbi Chia and Rabbi Yonatan were walking in the same tree. Hava kashadia tchelta de Rabbi Yonatan and Rabbi Yonatan's tzitzit were dragging over graves. Amale Rabbi Chia. Rabbi Chia said to him, Dalye, lift up your garment. Kadesh lo yomru. Because the dead might say, Lamacha ba'in etzleinu. Tomorrow they will be joining us. Va'achshav mecharfin otanu. And now they mock us. Amalei, Rabbi Yonasan said to him, Umi yad'e kulei hai. But do the dead know so much? Va'haktiv, as it's written, Va'hametim enam yodim me'uma. But the dead know nothing at all. Amale Reb Chia said to him, "In karit lo shanit. If you read this, you you did not read it a second time. Im shanit lo shil shilashta. If you did read it a second time, you did not read it a third time, because you didn't fully understand its meaning. Im shilashta lo pereshulecha. If you did review it a third time, you did not have it explained to you." Ki hachain yodim she yamutu, for the living know that they will die. Elo tzadikim shebe mia mitatan nikru chayim. This refers to the righteous who, even after they die, are still called living. Shnemar. Uvnayahu. Ben Yehoyada, Ben Ishchai, and Benayu, son of Yehoyada, the son of a living man, Rav Pa'alim Mik Mikav Tzeel, of many achievements from Kav Tzeel, who he cut et Shnei Ariel Moav, he struck down two commanders of Moav, Vehu Yarad Vehika et Ha'ari Betoch Habor Beyom Hashaleg, and he went down and slew a lion in a pit. On a snowy day.